Diane, thank you so much for having me to your studio today. I've been here for 10 minutes and I feel like we already know each other. Let's let the audience get to know you. Tell me when you fell in love with art. I remember my first or second grade teacher asked us to do a drawing for a Civil War scene. <laughs> and I ended up doing a Civil War scene that went all the way across the chalkboard, a 30 foot <laughs> chalkboard, and I didn't want anyone else to participate. That was my idea, so. Did you feel like you were a natural? Did it, did it feel like you were better than the other kids? If I wasn't, I was gonna be. <laughs> Interesting. So did you set that goal right then? I don't think I was conscious Cognizant? enough. Yeah. So I when just, did the consciousness come? Probably 10 years ago. Really? Yeah. Okay, so fill in fill in the gap there from, from first, second grade to 10 years ago. Well, everybody has an understanding of what they think an artist is. Mm -hmm. And I kind of always went through my whole life thinking I was never going to be good enough to be considered an artist, no matter, you know, it wasn't a matter of the quality of the picture. It was, it was still couldn't claim, still couldn't claim the label. And then I was at a family reunion and I was talking to my nephew and just said, I'm an artist from here on. Whatever that entails, I'm going to claim it. What do you think clicked? Consciousness. Mm. So you feel like you finally tuned in to who you are supposed it, to be? It tuned into me. I can't claim it. I remove any, any labeling and just allow. Mm. I don't even need to finish sentences anymore. I can just end it allow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you come down to, to start a piece, do you have any idea what's going to come out on the canvas or whatever uh, you, you might be painting? If I do have an idea, I surrender it. I don't even, um, I don't even attempt to pursue it. It might be in my mind, but then sometimes I'll even start out and put scratches on the paper to ruin any anticipated expression so that I can't, I can't fix those things and I leave them in. And that, and, and that, that uh, relieves me of attempting to make something. And then that allows me to make whatever the picture wants to become. I finally came to the realization that in order to find my mind, I had to lose my mind or be willing to lose my mind, to, to not have any any sense of security, I needed to surrender it all. How did you get to that that higher level of consciousness? It sounds delightful. I don't know that well, I'm capable. Well, <laughs> I'm going to reveal this. At 24, I got sober. Ah, okay. That was, and that requires a rigorous honesty. Mm -hmm. That was the beginning. Wow. So, how much further down the road after the, after sobriety, did you start expressing yourself with art? Well, I always have. Hmm. I just didn't, I just didn't, rec it was me doing the art then. Hmm. And it wasn't until I did a picture, I wanted to know how my mind worked. Hmm. And, the, and the idea in my head was, my mom would always say, if you want to know something, ask. So I asked my brain, to tell me how it worked. Thinking, you know, I'm just, what the heck? Sure. Nothing to lose. And the next picture I did, I just did a picture. Never thinking of, of this question that I'd asked. Mm -hmm. Three months after I completed it, it was there. It was my brain telling me how it worked. And I saw it as vivid as if it were written out in words. It was that clear, and that's when I realized, and that's actually when I realized that I'm an artist, because the art is teaching me. What did that piece tell you? What did it it's reveal about right your brain? over there. <laughs> Which one? It's the one, on, the little one on the oh, end. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, um, for one thing, I was able, it was, it was 
it had to have talked to me in a sense because the ideas that I was receiving from looking at it were not original thoughts. They were being introduced. So, and that process of experiencing that, that I could learn without having previous knowledge of something, and that it was somehow being introduced to me, that's when I knew I was into something real. So, does every piece you make from that point on teach you something? It's amazing. It's amazing, not, not even in the individual piece. There was a time I did, I did five pieces, and it wasn't until it was all done and I lined them all up that the series, it was just as, it was clear that it was a series of pictures, each one going further and further into consciousness. Hmm. And it was, I mean, I'm just sitting there with this dumb smile on my face thinking, what's go, what is this? I mean, yeah. life is expressing itself to me in an amazing way. So let me ask you this, does it matter to you then what the consumer sees? Not at all. Hmm. And Kurt Vonnegut, I, I need to include this, Kurt Vonnegut, and this is a paraphrase, but he said, artists are amazing creatures. They're mankind trying to become something else. Hmm. And that is another line, like I was talking to you earlier, that just stayed with me, mm -hmm. that I'm becoming something else. Hmm. So it doesn't, there's no, there is no, what, what, matter, what matters whether there's a consumer, that's not even what I am. That's so, it's really interesting for me to think of it that way because most of the artists I talk to, I, I would venture to say, make their art for an end user. Um, they feel like they are artists because they produce work for other people. So the fact that you are producing work solely to learn about yourself and the world, um, is really fascinating. So do you ever start a piece and and stop because nothing is coming out? No. Because, huh. and I, I want to include this, I'm an artist becoming something else. I'm, I'm, I, it, for a long time I wanted to be an artist and now that I'm an artist, <laughs> I want to become something else. Mm -hmm. and, and it isn't about wanting to become something else. I'm just becoming something else. Art is, is telling me, I mean, it's consciousness. It's consciousness evolving. Mm -hmm. And to be there on that edge, to me, as far as what artists have always been considered, and they have to take that label because society gives it to them. Sure. But that is what a true artist is. A true artist is living right there, not knowing what they're going to be the next day or even in the next moment. And to be open to that is reality. What has been the most surprising thing you have learned from one of your pieces? I don't know if it's surprising. It's just trust, just to be able to sit down to an empty, paper and trust that when it's done I'm just going to be blown away by it hmm. in one way or the other not necessarily you know we, we've got all kinds of measurements for quality and things like that and I have no I have no regard for any of that it's it's always so much more the expression is always so much more than I could have ever preconceived that it's it's just a it's a wonderful experience so is it safe to say that you are never disappointed by a piece or um, that sometimes it doesn't speak to you like you wish it would? Those, see, those are just indicators. Those are that, mortal thoughts. <laughs> those, are, those are indications to me that I'm, I'm, in the, I'm identifying, I'm, I'm misidentifying. Okay. There's nothing in me that allows to be disappointed. If I am, I'm, I'm being foolish. So to you, none of this really has to do with art? Not in the conditioned definition. How do you define art? I don't know that I do. Hmm. I mean, as soon as I do, it's something else. So I could, I could de continually define it at each moment and it would just become something else. 
I'm fascinated by you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fascinated by your work. Um, I'm fascinated that you don't consider it work. Um, what is the greatest joy that art gives you? It gives me the moment without any baggage. If I want baggage, I can create it. It's an illusion and it's been presented to me as an illusion now. So as soon as there's baggage, it's, it's just absurd to hang on to it because it's not real. So art has given me the moment. I have never walked away from an interview with this much to think about, <laughs> but but I'm going to continue to think about it or maybe not think about it. I'm this, not sure. <laughs> you're getting it. You're getting it. That's it. Well, your work is, is beautiful and I can feel you in it, which is really cool. Thank you for this conversation and, uh, and for taking the time to talk with me today. I was so excited. <laughs> now I know why. Oh, thank you. Arts in Focus on PBS Fort Wayne is funded in part by the Our Foundation and the Community Foundation of Greater Fort Wayne.